Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ozone and welcome to another kind of talky talk video, me and the camera, me and you, uh, just having a little discussion really because I feel like I need to do this um, a lot more. Um, so this can be very unedited and stuff like that. So I'm very sorry if you don't like this sort of content, but uh, don't worry, it won't be like this all the time. This is just a one-off really. The other thing is this video is gonna have some themes about sex and uh, sexualities and the LGBTQ plus stuff. So if you feel sensitive to all that sort of stuff uh, or you don't wanna listen to it, then um, feel free to click off the video. Uh, this might not be for you, but you know, we'll, we'll move swiftly on. Um, so I kind of, I don't know why, but I feel really like uncomfortable sat here all of a sudden. Um, it's cause I don't know, I, I feel pressured. Let me just breathe. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I'm, I'm a bit more comfortable. So basically, today I'm here to talk about, a little bit about my story and um, my place in, in the LGBTQ plus society. Um, uh, mainly because it's Pride Month uh, and I wanted to do a video like this for ages, but I've never known how to do it. Uh, I think this is literally just the best way to do it, just me expressing my thoughts to a camera. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about this. So if you don't know what Pride Month is, or, or what Pride is in general, it's about being proud about yourself, being proud about who you are, and not letting other people really judge you for who you are. Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings, we're all the same kind of people, and we, we should all treat each other with respect and equality, you know? Because uh, although some people may be different from others, we all deserve the same rights uh, and the same freedom. Um, and, and that's an issue at the moment in the world, uh, and one that I think needs to be addressed more. Um, and I think one way for it being addressed is during Pride Month. It's Pride Month currently in the US. Not in the UK, uh, UK Pride Month is I think October, um, might be something like that, but you guys are mostly from the US, so I'm just doing it now. Um, anyway, yeah, Pride Month is a good way to, um, to get it out there, really, to get the message out there that no matter who you are, you should be proud of who you are, okay? Don't let anybody else uh, who says anything horrible get into the way of your life, in, in, in the way of your life, um, because that's completely wrong. You be whoever you want to be. So today we're gonna to be talking a lot about sexualities, um, because that's that's the main thing um, in, in Pride. Um, so the LGBTQ plus society, let's talk a little bit about that. So, th so the main kind, I'd say the main kind of thing we're taught in schools, um, which is kind of wrong, uh, is that man meets woman, they breed, uh, and then they have a baby, uh, and then, of course, make a family from there. Um, and that that's the cycle of life, essentially. Um, they will die off, and then their babies will have babies. Um, and what what is wrong with that? Well, there's a lot wrong with that, because I feel like schools should teach more about, um, you know, like inconsistencies in the world, inequalities, and stuff that need to be fixed because I don't think it's taught enough. And sure, you could say that it's like parenting problems, like parents' faults for not teaching their children about pride. And yes, I do feel like a lot of it is held in the responsibility of the parents, but I feel like it still needs to be taught a little bit better in schools. Um, that's just from personal experience. I may be completely wrong. Your schools may all talk about, um, about like racism uh, and, and sexuality and stuff. Um, but yeah, so really how it is, is you can, you don't even have to have a label really, but there are these kind of labels. So heterosexuality is the one that I was just talking about. There's so many different sexualities and it's all represented in the LGBTQ+, um, the, the entire Pride Month thing. Um, LGBTQ+, lesbians, gays, um, bi, uh, uh, LGBT, trans, Q, queer, you know, all of, all of that. Um, do a bit of research because it's very fascinating and it's the reason I found my sexuality, I think, because I was doing a little bit of research on it because I didn't know much about it. 
Um, I'm not one to really explain this because I'm really bad at explaining things I don't know all that much about. Um, but let's talk about something I do know a lot about, and that is my sexuality. Am I heterosexual? No. Am I gay? Nope. Am I bisexual? No. Pansexual? No. Trans? No. Uh, queer? A little bit. <laughs> um, I am actually a completely different sexuality, and some could even say it's an entirely different group. So it's not even really a sexuality, it's an entire different group, because there are different types of, I guess, sexualities in this sexuality. Um, and so I will reveal to you now, even though you've already read the title probably, that I am, in fact, asexual. <laughs> I'm asexual. Um, a lot of asexuals like to shorten it to ace. Um, I, I really like that too. Um, I am ace. Um, the way you can tell I'm ace mainly is by the ring on the middle finger. I've also got my nail painted. Um, yeah, I, it's the ring on the middle finger. Very, very, very cool. Uh, I bought this uh, just to just to show that I'm proud of myself being asexual, and I'm proud of um, who I am. Um, yeah, <laughs> and no, no one should judge me for that. Um, hopefully, the comments aren't going to storm me like you're asexual. Um, so yeah, what is asexuality? We should probably talk about that. We should probably talk about that just a little bit. <laughs> I think before I tell you what asexuality is, I should probably tell you what asexuality isn't. Because there are a lot of misconceptions about what asexuality is, and it honestly annoys me so, so much. It really breaks my heart when I get asked one of these questions because people just don't really understand it. So, asexuality is not, I don't want to have sex. Asexual, well, not necessarily. Asexuality is not necessarily, I don't want to be in a relationship. Asexuality is not necessarily, I don't like kissing, I don't like hugging. Asexuality is simply, I do not experience sexual attraction. And when I, when I, because I was first looking up uh, stuff about the, pride and, and stuff, um, and I found this word asexuality, and I was, I just read it, and I was just like, that's me, that's me, so yeah, I'm asexual, I don't experience sexual attraction, um, for me, because every asexual is different, I mean, every, every person is different, obviously, Every, every heterosexual person that you'll meet is different. Every homosexual person you'll meet is different. Similarly, every asexual person that you meet is going to be different. I actually know um, quite a few bisexuals. Um, a lot of my friends are bisexual, uh, which is kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. Uh, and, and I really, really love them all uh, to pieces, actually. Um, I, <laughs> from my heart, I do love them. Uh, and I'm really proud of who they are today, and I think they should be too, because um, they, I think they've come pretty far as well, and I, I don't want to say I haven't come far, but I've come pretty far, uh, they've come pretty far, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, uh, um, but yeah. Right, let's talk about my asexuality. Um, so personally, I hate the idea of sex, okay? Again. Not every asexual is like this. A, a lot of asexuals um, will practice sex, um, but it's just the fact that you don't experience sexual attraction. So let's talk about sexual attraction and what that is. So there's two, there's two main, I guess, types of attractions. There's sexual attraction and romantic attraction. So just because I'm asexual doesn't mean I don't want a romantic relationship. Um, so Actually, I am asexual, but I am hetero-romantic, meaning I want a romantic relationship with someone of the oppo opposite gender, okay? So technically, if I wanted, I could be gay, but not, want, not, have, not experience sexual attraction. So I could be an asexual, homo-romantic. That's really difficult to say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so really, there's two types of attraction. Sexual, which I don't experience, and romantic, uh, in which I am hetero-romantic. Um, 
and they are very different things. If I have sexual attraction to someone, I can't really explain this. I can't really explain this because I've never experienced sexual attraction, so I don't really know how to explain what it is. I'm sure you know what it is, but like if if I I assume if I see someone's body, I am sexually attracted by that. I am aroused essentially by someone's body, and I don't get that. I don't get that. That's um that's essentially what sexual attraction is, um, and romantic attraction is just. Uh, attraction to the person, I guess. Um, for me, um, like the main forms of attraction that I personally really love is, uh, this is going to sound really sad now I think about it, um, but one of the main ones is the fact that, uh, is when uh, girls talk to me and we're in a really nice conversation and she laughs at my jokes, I laugh at her jokes, we get on really well, we have a drink, you know, that sort of thing makes me very attracted to a person. Um, also, things like hugging, like, I love a hug. <laughs> I absolutely love a hug. It's just so warm and so nice. Kissing is quite nice too, although uh, I haven't kissed many people. Um, that is one thing as well. I've, I've only ever been in one romantic relationship. Um, and I... <laughs> Yeah, I, I've only ever been in one romantic relationship. Uh, I would love to be in others, but I feel like my sexuality kind of um, kind of limits that. Um, <laughs> oh, I, don't, I can't believe I've gone into this. Okay, I might as well talk about it. Because we're here now. I'm getting sweaty just talking. I, I never get this sweaty. Um, I'm very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be uncomfortable recording this video, but I am. Um, give me a second. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I think for me, because I'm asexual, I don't want sex. Um, that's just that. I, I get really turned off by sex. I don't watch porn. Um, I don't like people stripping or anything like that. Um, for me, there's actually like, I guess there's like a threshold, or no, not a threshold, like a limit to where I can go. Um, I can stand some things, but most of the time, when somebody is naked, no, no, not for me, not for me, not at all. Um, but I, I feel like when I say to someone, hey, I am asexual, I, I don't want to have sex, I feel like that in instantly turns people off of me. Um, if you know what I mean. So, for example, if there's this girl that I really like, uh, and then she really likes me, uh, and then we're talking, and I'm having a great time, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ask this person out soon. I'm gonna ask this person out soon. Oh, wait, I should probably mention my sexuality, just so that it's there, and so she's, cl she's clear that I'm asexual. And then I say, I'm asexual, by the way. And then she's like, what, what does that mean? And then I'm like, oh, uh, I, I don't want sex. And then she just walks away. I mean, this has never happened. This is, I, I make it sound like this has happened. It hasn't happened. But I feel like that's the sort of thing that happens. When I mention that I'm asexual, I feel like I get judged instantly. Um, and I actually feel like other, other sexualities are similar. Um, people will think it's really difficult to come out as gay to come out as bi, to come out as pan, but not to come out as asexual. Uh, I think it's it's it it's equally difficult to come out as asexual uh, and to say to someone that you are asexual because it really changes people's opinions on you. And I'm going to find it hard to get into any relationship, I feel like. I really do. But I feel like as an asexual, I'm basically like a heterosexual. I'm, I'm basically like, oh god, this is so difficult for me. I feel like, what's a good way to put it? I feel like a shadow. I feel like a shadow. I'm, I'm there, and I'm similar to everybody else, but there's a catch. I'm a catch. 
I'm a catch. Um, yeah. One thing that annoys me so much about being asexual is a lot of the comments that I get about it. Um, not YouTube comments and stuff, but comments IRL and comments that I've heard from other people. Uh, and one of these comments is, oh, you'll just grow out of it. It's not a sexuality. You'll grow out of it. That annoys me so much. <laughs> it, it's not a face. It's, how could it be a face? I mean, okay, sure, I guess I'm kind of young. But that still means I can put a label on myself. Because I, I do feel like I really don't... I see all these people around me. And it's like when I play Never Have I Ever. Like, I'm sure you guys have played Never Have I Ever. Have I Ever. Ugh, I can't even say it. Um, like, a few years ago. A few years ago. I'm 19 right now. A few years ago. So, like, 16 probably. I was playing Never Have I Ever with a group of friends. And all of the questions were stuff like... Never have I ever had sex this week. And then people would all like put their fingers up or down or however you play that game. And then I was just there not doing anything the entire game because I hadn't done anything. Um, yeah, I, I'm i 19. My first kiss was 17. My first relationship was 17 slash 18. It's kind of crazy to think about um, being asexual because... People are going to judge you for it. Um, and I'm scared. I am scared. One of my biggest fears is loneliness. And I'm, I, I'm scared that I'm going to be lonely. I... <laughs> I can't believe this. I woke up today like, oh yeah, I'm, it's... I'm going to be pumped. I'm going to be making this video about, like, finding, describing my sexuality and everybody's going to love it and I'm going to love recording it. And I'm just here, like, trying to deal with my emotions. You know, I, I've spent... I've spent most of my life thinking that I'm, I was broken. Um, I still sometimes feel like I'm a bit broken. Because I'm not like everybody else. It's really difficult to do anything when you feel broken. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to talk about this too much, obviously. But I had a pretty bad breakup uh, in my first relationship. And it left me... Left me crying for... I would... I, this might sound like an... Over S like uh, not an overestimate a oh my an overstatement but it it really isn't I was literally crying for months um, I I feel like as someone who is only romantically attracted to people I feel like a lot of people say that I'm very wholesome I mean I think I am um, but I feel like I also have a weaker heart I think. I think my heart is a little bit weaker, and also the fact that I, I just haven't experienced as much as everybody else. Yeah, it's, it's so, oh god. You know, before I was making this video, I was like, yeah, I, I'm totally with my sexuality, I feel great, and now I just feel bad. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Um, if anybody is concerned for me, I'm totally fine. Genuinely, um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about my asexuality because that's that's what's kind of going on in my head. Um, it's cool. It's cool being asexual. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. And any asexuals in the comments below, tell me. Tell me if you're asexual. I want to. I want to know my asexual bros. Tell me about your coming out stories as well. Uh, I mean, my com coming out story is not very interesting at all. Um, I I just I should probably talk about this. It was easy to come out to my friends uh, because they I feel like they accepted me, but my parents and my family, I don't feel like I could do it. 
or no, I, I essentially have come out to them, but they don't understand. And they ask the questions like, oh, that means you're broken. Oh, you'll grow out of it. Don't worry, one day you'll want to have sex. And that annoys me. And that, that annoys me. So I don't know if they'll ever accept it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a mess and I truly am broken right now. Um, I don't know what this video was. I'm so sorry that it's just been me blabbering and then me being kind of broken. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, if there are anybody, is there, if there's anybody here, 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 who needs to talk about something, I am always here for you. Uh, I hope you all have a good Pride Month. Um, I hope you all are proud of yourselves. I am proud of myself. Don't get me wrong. I am super proud of myself. Uh, I feel like being asexual has made me more confident as well. Uh, and it is ch it's completely changed my style. Like, look at this jumper. This jumper is so cool. It's a pride jumper, essentially. I think it's more about bisexuality. Although it has, like, the um, transgender, um, like, colours, doesn't it? It says change the society. I got this from Queasley.com. Shout out. Uh, they've got some very cool merch. But yeah, this was a hard video to make. I'm so sorry. Uh, I should probably end. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I love you. Um, I love literally everybody. Uh, if my friends are watching this, I love you. Mwah. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Subscribe. <laughs>